Oh my goodness, who is ready for a good time? Today's video is sponsored by Hunting Clash. Let the good times roll. What up? Guess what, y'all? I just did a poll on my YouTube channel the other day and I said, what do y'all like to watch more? Hunting videos or fishing videos? Hunting videos actually came out on top, it's like 52%. But most of you said you like the combination of everything. Got good news for you. We just did some fishing videos. Now we're getting ready for hunting season. But right now, I'm gonna break out my bow, I'm gonna do a little practice shooting, and I'm gonna show you what I do getting ready for a hunt. And then we're gonna go on a very special hunt. He literally walked to the base of my tree and I thought he busted me, but I just wouldn't look him in the eyes. Out here on the ranch or anywhere in the world, I love to be around wildlife. We also, we travel a lot. And when we travel, we're stuck in airplanes and stuck on airports all the time. And what I just found that has been keeping me really happy is Hunting Clash. It's a video game, it's a free game that's available on ISO and Android, and it's free to download. This is actually really cool because it's so lifelike. It trains your eye to look. He ain't going on. Stud. But right now, I'm in Montana. Although you can go to Africa, you can go all over the world on this game. You can, you can actually compete against other people on other, in completely different areas. There he is, boy. <laughs> Got him! Hey, if you love the outdoors and if you love hunting as much as I do, do me a favor and download Hunting Clash using the link in the description below. And hey, I might be playing you next time. All right, you guys, the work never continues out here. Opening day of deer season is on Saturday morning. We're gonna go hang a couple tree stands and get set up. But now let me tell you about my cameraman, Austin. He's crazy because every day we hunt and we fish and we film it. And when he takes his vacation, what do you think he does? He goes hunting and fishing and films it. I've been waiting to show you all this. This is him last year up north on public ground. What is going on, happy people? I'm Austin Crocker and you're watching Deer Meat for Dinner. Oh, yeah! Now right now, Rob and Sarah are making their way to Nebraska to do a little bit of mule deer hunting over the next couple days. But I shot up to Maryland to hunt with my dad and one of my good friends, Gene. And we're chasing whitetails on public land. Now the past couple days, We've had mixed results. I've seen some little bucks and a bunch of does, but I haven't got on anything just yet. But tonight, I'm hunting a public land area that I scouted last year and didn't really get to hunt. And these deer were bedded in this one specific area that I couldn't figure out how to get to. And I needed a south wind. Well, guess what? Today's a south wind. So I strapped all my camera gear to the back of my lock on I got my bow, camera gear, and whatever else I need in my backpack snacks. I'm about to hike two miles back into where I glassed them deer last year. I have no clue if this is going to work or not, but I guarantee you whatever I see, you'll see. I'll see you in the woods. All right, you guys, so I'm about a mile in so far. Now I've broke away from the highway, and I'm keeping the wind in my face, and I'm sneaking along this field. I don't think these deer are bedded in this creek bottom. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think they're gonna be bedded off that point where I saw them the other night. I don't know how I'm gonna get in there and hang a stand without blowing them out, but I know that's where I need to be. So see all them beans right here? This is exactly where all those deer were crossing. They crossed right here through this grass and came out into this field. Right here, you can see the trail. 
I mean, look at all the deer tracks. Look at all the trails crossing through this grass. This is where they are. There's trails every which way. This is where they are, folks. That tree you can't really even get in. So I gotta figure something out and get set up, but this is where all those big bucks were. seeing a handful of deer here and there the past couple days but nothing no shooters so I slipped into this thicket along this creek bottom there's really not a whole lot of buck sign in here but there's some heavy trails sneaking through this creek bottom I thought maybe it might be a good spot for a buck to push a doe later today or maybe one will come cruising through I don't know little eight point but I couldn't pass them up for public land I haven't been seeing anything the past two days I'm sorry I didn't get great footage of them I literally was standing up my bow was all the way over here and I looked and he was just standing there like 10 yards I just he literally walked to the base of my tree and I thought he busted me but I just wouldn't look him in the eyes and I thought, I tried to get the camera right there to film him. And he turned and walked dead away from that tree. I had no shot. But my only lane was right there. I shot him at 40 yards. And uh, that perfect shot right behind the shoulder. I know he's not going to go far. But that's the first deer I've ever killed on video. I'm so excited. <laughs> hey. It's... 1040 got it done baby all right y'all so it took me a little bit longer to find them than what i wanted i got a little scared at first and backed out came back in my shorts trailed him up he went like 200 yards a lot further than what i thought there he is not a bad little buck but uh i'm gonna start the drag now get him out of here so to say i was proud of austin is an understatement he is such a great friend he's my right hand man and to see him go up to maryland hunt public property on his time off and make a great shot i was proud congratulations austin 
That's why I started off this deer season with that hunt, because that's what it's all about, you guys. Not only that, Austin cleaned the deer up, he marinated the heart and the tenderloins in some kind of little pencil tucky special, which he's known for, let it soak for a couple of days, and then he cooked it all up. He even stuffed the heart with some kind of cheese and this, that, and the other, I'm not sure what, but it looked good. Then he wrapped it in bacon and threw it on the grill. And anytime you're cooking deer meat at deer camp, that means things are going right. Now, if you guys wanna see more hunting videos and if you enjoy seeing Austin in front of the camera, please show him some love, leave a comment, drop a thumbs up, and I guarantee you, he's gonna be doing a lot more in front of the camera. I do wanna say thank you so much to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. And if you would, go down and download Hunting Clash using the link in the description below. Hey, I will see you there. We gone.